Good morning. It's about 5 a.m. Trying to get these videos started for you guys a little bit earlier. Uh, welcome to our Sizzle Nation. As you know, I'm Brian. Our Sizzle's inside getting a little bit more ready. We're going freshwater fishing today. Just loading up the boat. You're coming along. Ravers and fishing sizzle? Yep. You know, sign ready. Ready as I'm gonna be right now, so let's go. This is why I don't film in the morning. Let's go. Woo! Looks like a beautiful day on the lake. Shoes dirty. Good morning, everybody. The sun is finally rising. Today, we are switching it up. We are here at Lake Ida. In, which is right here located in Delray Beach, Florida. And there's a lot of awesome species you can catch here, such as like exotic fish, like the exotic clown knife fish. You can catch peacock bass, largemouth bass, sunshine bass, which is a hybrid bass. And there's just a lot of great things that can go on today. I'm excited. We have live bait. We got to roll out. Let's go. Well, it's right now. Go ahead. Let's see if we got any bait. I'm not exactly sure how deep it is. It's about 10 feet. We're having some issues with the depth finder this morning. So I just gave it a throw. We're gonna pull it up here in just a second. We got like one. Get that well. How many were there? That depth finder worked, man. We'd be on them. Got some. Open well. Not bad. Couple. Nice. Throw one more time. You gonna throw one more time? I'm really watching where those birds are at. You're crazy. I think I need to get a little closer in, but if you can get on them, they're there. That's crazy, man. Ooh, look at those shad sizzle. Come on. How come you only so, make that thing work when I'm not throwing my net? <laughs> right. My depth finder has been a little wacky. Ugh. You guys know me. I really love bait. And that bait, that depth finder has not been working. All those throws I just did. I caught some bait, nothing crazy, but my depth finder isn't working, and now it is, and I'm done throwing the net. It's Son not of a gun. It turned off? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, so frustrating. I know. All right, They're let's go find just some. so close, but yet so far. The depth finder just worked just for 30 seconds longer, we'd be good. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I caught like not that many live baits with the cast net, but we still got some. That's what counts. We still got cloudy conditions right now, so I'm gonna throw a top water bait real quick and then probably switch over to live bait. And I'm gonna be casting it by the structure over here, by the seawall where this overhang is, and we got a bunch of sticks and stuff inside the water. And usually these are good areas for fish. So here we go. Holy crap. Maybe throw a shiner over there. Where was it? I think we're at that dock. Fish on. I'm wrapped. Oh, get away from that piling. That's a nice fish. I think I got him out. Oh, it's a really nice fish. Woo, those peacocks fight so hard. First fish of the day, baby, it's a stud. It's a stud, heck yeah. Big old peacock bass. She got me wrapped up in the piling under there. This might have been the fish that Brian lost earlier. I tried to blow up the uh, gambler lure soft plastic. Heck yeah, nice fish. On the shad I caught. So sick. Ooh, all right guys, so check that out. That is a nice fish to start the morning. Beautiful female peacock bass. We got live bait this morning. We picked up some live shiners, but also in this particular lake and area, look at this mustad circle hook right in the corner, using a small little fine wire light hooks for these little tiny shads. But these American shad are stocked up in this lake here. And what, I, what we did was use a depth finder to try and find them, throw the cast net and catch a bunch of shad. So these are the, this is the shad that's actually in this lake. And this beautiful fish just took it and inhaled it. That's a stud, that's a nice one. 
We have really nice wa warm water temperatures right now, so these fish are fired up. They don't like it cold. This is a little crying about a thumb already. I'm not crying. I just said, did you want to film it? So first fish, I got injured. Big baby. I didn't be a big baby. The fish shook on my thumb. I'm not crying. <laughs> I get fit more fishing injuries than you do. See how she is in the mornings, guys? Very rough, rough crowd. Rough crowd out here today. <laughs> this is pretty. Second fish of the day, coming to the boat. Heck yeah. Got you, I got you. Cool, on the top water. Actually forgot to bring my favorite top waters with me, but I found a top water in one of my tackle boxes. We caught the fish. That's a nice one. Yeah. Not bad. Whoa, he just came right off. Not bad. It's not a bad fish at all. Probably one, one and a half pounds. Nice largemouth bass. All right, so that's two fish, two different species, one on top water, one on live bait. They are just tearing it up today. It's going to be a good day. And as the sun gets higher, usually these fish get more fired up. Nice. Nice job, Dar Sizzle. I was, I was doing a trolling motor that time. But you know, that's the, that's the great part about this area in South Florida. We're so blessed. There's so many different fish in here. You know, bass, and that, well, we're over 10 times, but it's pretty awesome, it's fun. All right, y'all, so this is an American Shad. I gotta get them in the water real quick. These are not very hardy baits whatsoever, so you don't really wanna touch them, um, only when you're going to rig them, but I'm just using a Mustad circle hook, really fine wire, and just running it straight through the top of his nose like so, and with a loop knot it's tied onto with 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, and I've got a little tiny split shot on there. Oh, came off, and we're tangled. All right, I need help. Oh, just came off. Are you kidding me? No, he didn't, no, he didn't. I really need help. Take this, okay. All right, whoo. Still got a big mess. I got, I'm tangled in my other line over here. We got lines out everywhere. Both lines went off at the same time. One, lost one fish. Hopefully this lines. stays on. No, it's this fish, two. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, two. Take this, take this fish, flip this fish in. Hold on, hold on. Flip this fish in. Hold on. All right, I got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, you left this line out. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Nice. Hooked up. Solid peacock bass. The other line just went off. Now I'm reeling that up. I had Brian help me as soon as I flipped that other fish in. Pretty funny. Even with the mess, we're still catching fish. Woo! I have a drag set really light. Another nice peacock. Heck yes. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! They're all huge today. Big peacock bass, very, very hungry. And it's really interesting too that most of the fish today that we've all been caught, at least with the peacocks, are all females. This was a J hook. Hooked perfectly in the corner. Crushing it. It's another stud. They're all nice size today. No babies so far. Peak female because of the fact she has no hump right here on her head. So that is a beautiful female. And the males are, of course, much prettier than the, than the females. But we're just stocking the live well full of fish. Nice job, Dar Sizzle. They're very angry. We literally got like tripled up right there. The bob we have one under a bobber went under. Yeah. So we have live baits out and we're throwing Darcy's throwing actually a DOA terrorize and I'm throwing a crankbait because I have caught sunshine bass in here with a crankbait. Yeah, so we left the three rods alone and they all kind of went off boom, boom, boom. And that kind of tells me that a pack of fish may move through this area. Maybe. Because we are anchored with a trolling motor. Yes. Well, obviously they swim. <laughs> You're right. They don't swim. Yeah, so the bobber went down and then that one went down. We all three went off once. Yeah, pretty cool. Hopefully Brian doesn't lose his rod with his line out. Fish on. We just reset all our lines. Ooh, that one just jumped. What was it? I missed it. Did you see it? No. Didn't. Okay. This one too? Oh boy, they're all getting hit again. Doubled up, doubled up. Heck yeah. Look at that toad. 
They're getting bigger, guys. They're getting bigger. <laughs> that is a nice one. Dude, Brian's like, let's leave this spot. We got to go catch something else. I'm like, dude, there's fish here. So put the bait down. We're catching bigger and bigger fish. This is the biggest largemouth I've caught in a very long time. But you see the mustad circle hook doing its job. Let Rodney catch it. When I say Rodney, that means the rod holder. <laughs> Rodney catches more fish than anybody else. I actually got a skill, too. That is a stud. He's going to be close to four pounds, at least four pounds. That big old mouth, bucket mouth. Solid quality fish today, guys. Not one dink, not one. I just jinxed myself. <laughs> Jigs coming up. <laughs> you got no drag on this sizzle? Don't do too Whoa. tight. The dough sizzle was catching that fish. This line was going off. That's a pretty big freshwater cat for here. Yeah. Show them the hook, de hooker trick. The de hooker trick? All right, we hate catfish because they got spines, so we use a de hooker and the sizzle just flips it, right, Sizzle? Yep. Works perfectly, Sizzle. That was a really baby flip. <laughs> That's okay. The way he's really supposed to do it is like this. Yeah. But then these spines, spines could hit you. Baby, she called it a baby flip. Hard flip. Ugh. Sizzle. Don't blame it on me. I broke your hook off. That's why you're the fisherman and I'm the cameraman. Ah, oh, pudding. There might be a fish Bloop, on that line. There might be a fish on that line. Where? Over there. Go get it. Red line. Red line. Looks Dan's too, pole. It looks too straight. Tim's pole. Fish? No. Okay. Fish on. So that big, that big largemouth back, largemouth bass I just caught was on this one, which is on the top of the water column because we're in deep water right now, like 15 to 20 feet, and they keep coming up and eating this one that's on a popping popper cork. So it's up higher in the water column. We're gonna see what it is, but this one seems like it's a solid fish again. Light drags coming to the boat, it's digging down. You never know what could it, what it could be though. It's a great thing about fishing. There's a popping cork. I mean, float, color. Another nice pass. Wow. Woo! Look at that fatty. They're all solid fish. The largemouth bass seem to be up higher in the water column, chewing on these. Once again, circle hook in the corner. Perfect. Look at that. Fish wasn't going anywhere. So Roddy does his job. When you leave it in the rod holder, you let the rod holder catch the fish, you see the rod bending over, you know, you got a fish home. Probably the smallest one of the day, but still a nice, chunky, healthy bass right there. Solid. Let's let him go. He has really sharp teeth. There he goes. All right, we are just slaying him. We found a honey hole. Honey hole for largemouth bass and peacock bass. All right, we moved to another spot. Trying to work on our lake out of slam. So right now we're trying for a clown knife. Uh, that's right. Looks like this, if you've never seen one, it's an exotic aquarium fish, which people, mainly during the hurricanes, they don't have electricity, so they dump the, all the- Release them back in 2000. Yeah, a lot of 2000, 2005, all the time. Right, and they grow like weeds down here. Oh, along yeah. with the boa constrictors and the monitor lizards and the clown knives and the snake, snake heads and everything else we got going on down here nuts. So. That's the goal at the moment. See what happens. Oh okay. boy, I'm straight into the dock. Get out of there. Don't break off. Don't break off. Way back in there. So I had, whoa. Jeez, this is fighting good. I hope it stays hooked. Please stay hooked. It's probably gonna be a nice peacock bass. They fight so hard. They fight so much harder than a largemouth. It's putting up a fight. So this one was on the surface once again with a float. This one seems to be really killing it today. We're trying to get those cloud knives, like Brian said. Have seen them rolling in this area. They kind of come up and roll like a tarpon wood in salt water, so you know that you're in the right area. But this fish is finally coming over. He was underneath that dock. See the cork? Woo! What is it? Nice oh my gosh, it's a giant. I'll the Can net. Let's get the net. I'll wait a second. Whoa, oh my goodness, dude. Freaking giant. 
Yeah. 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 That's insane fish, That's a bro. big one. That's a monster. Dude, that is a monster peacock bass. I'm stoked right now. I don't want to scream too loud because we got some people fishing in this area, but look at that hook. Right in the corner of the mouth, he was chilling underneath that boat ramp over there, and I let that bait go all the way over there, just in case, because even because sometimes those clown knives are over there, but I will take this monster, dude. I think it's a female again. Yeah. Another massive female. Holy crap. Freaking stud. Look at that butte. Freaking gorgeous. I can't believe I'm catching these monsters in, this, in the winter time down here because this is usually our summer fish. Look at that fish. That is a giant. That is what you want. Peacock bass, baby. Oh yeah. All right, we got a bunch of fish in the live well, so I'm just slowly letting them go and I'm gonna try to get to the big one here so I can get a quick measure, get a quick picture, let them go. This is one of the bigger largemouth of the day. Gee whiz. This is one of the smaller peacock bass. Still a really beautiful one. Female. She's ready. She gone. All right, gonna release this peacock bass. I just wanna show you, like, look at this eyeball, which looks normal. And then this eyeball has, like, really small and doesn't look normal. So maybe that fish is blind. I don't know, in that eye. Pretty interesting. Here goes with the release. See if she'll swim away nice and slow. These are all big females. Are you ready? Let's see if I can point her towards you. Here we go. Sick. Bye, fishy. At least these fish are just tearing up my thumb really bad. But I can't wait to weigh the big one. Let's go. Freaking monsters, baby. This fish is insane. I have not caught a huge fish like this in a very long time. And that is a big old largemouth, too. I mean, two solid fish, baby. Let's get the weight on this big girl now and let this one go. All right, releasing this big, beautiful, large mouth. I tore up my finger just now. It's bleeding again. All right. They just have some really sharp, they don't even have teeth, but they just have like, whatever, some stuff here. And it's just really rough, super sharp. Beating me up today. Ooh, there we go. Just not messing around. All right, we're letting the biggest fish of the day go home. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, but it was probably around four and a half, five pounds on my scale. My scale's kind of messed up. Still a beautiful fish. Might be a little on the skinny side just because they're not spawning right now, but it's still a monster. I mean, if they were spawning, this fish would easily be an extra pound heavier, maybe more. Just a gorgeous female. Probably the biggest female I have ever caught, period. So pretty sick. It's usually the males that are the biggest. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Big fish is going, very slow. Perfect release. Yes, going straight down. That was awesome. Very, very cool. As soon as my thumb starts to dry a little bit more, you'll see this, but this is destroyed today. Even worse than what saltwater fish do to me. Ow, gosh. <laughs> Whew, great day in the water to sizzle. Heck yeah. We haven't had a lot of bass fishing lately, so we decided you know, it's really been blowing like 30 knots offshore, so. Yes. And uh, this is a great fishery here. We try to take advantage of it and show you guys how to do it. This is Lake Ida. And you want to use like 10 pound mono and little teeny mustad like number one hook so the, yeah. the shiners are swimming if the shiners don't can't swim you're not gonna catch that many fish so even though you have shiners it's not guaranteed you're gonna catch lunkers because you gotta you gotta rig them right still so they swim good yeah okay? and that big fish i'm actually gonna post the exact location of where we caught that fish on lake ida here and on the fish angler app check it out guys it's free <laughs> follow me all right Until all right guys time. thank you so much for watching this adventure until our next video follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. That didn't work out that time. No. <laughs>